Attention, we are relieved to announce that Ms. Rodriguez versus the Board of Education has been settled. The school dress code will now allow for moderate cleavage. Congratulations, Ms. Rodriguez. I owe you an apology, buddy. What for? Well, when Lewis found out that the music room's not recycling, I blamed it on you. All right, whatever. Oh, and uh, when some of the parents were angry that I mixed up the Dominican and Puerto Rican flags, I said it was your fault. How many things do you have to apologize to me for? That's it, I'm sorry. Fine. Oh, and you're out of juice, sorry. We are on lockdown. Suspicious package has been found in the art room, and until we clear it, nobody leaves. How long are we going to be on lockdown? As long as it takes. Cafeteria stock for about a week. So we might be in here a week? It's hard to say. We have a motto, expect nothing, anticipate everything. Gentlemen, we are living in a different world post 9-7. Don't you mean 9-11? No, stupid. 9-7. Student over at PS38. I was doing a science fair project using enriched uranium. That is the world in which we live. It's not safe for them and it's not safe for us. It's a lot of responsibility. I'm proud to say I've only lost three children in my tenure. Not bad for six months. Security here is just not what it should be. These little fuckers are allowed to just walk around and do what they want. Walk right into school, walk right out of school. Deep cavity searches, K through five. Done by a faculty member of the same gender. We don't want anything inappropriate happening. You know when it started going downhill? When they removed things like spankings from the school. You ever see a child spanked by a nun? Great videos, great videos. Did you ever uh, have to use your gun? Yes, my, I've used my gun quite a few times. I've not shot it, but I've pointed it at quite a few students. And I've pistol whipped a few students. Oh, okay. Known as a deterrent. When you see a kid gearing up to throw a spitball or do something like that. The fuck are you doing? You don't shoot a student, that's simply uncalled for, K through five. There's really no call to shoot a student. However, butt of the gun across the bridge of the nose, that will straighten out a line of students. When is that called for? When they're talking loudly, being disrespectful, causing a ruckus in the hallway. Spare the rod, spoil the child. I didn't get that tattooed by accident. So all I ever wanted to do is protect people. I wanted to be a police officer. But if you have any arrests in your past, they hold that against you. Does it it's a private you? matter. Myself in a car, talking to a friend in need. And they said I was paying a transsexual prostitute. I say I was talking to a friend in need. So I decided to work with children. I love children. I don't think there's anything wrong with picking one up and just hugging them, making them feel safe. When's the last time you hugged a child? Pick one up and hug them. I think there are rules. Yeah, there are rules. They're biased against people like me who care. My wife and I are unable to have children. If I wanted to be around children and protect them, I'd have to come here. You know, it's an old song. You might remember it. They say, let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be. What if there was no children's laughter? What if all the children were dead? You ever think about that? I didn't think you did. No. Yeah. This place would just be a pile of dead little bodies if it wasn't for me. I think about that every day on the way to work, and I think about it every day on the way home from work. Think about it on the weekends. Think about it while I'm camping. And I want you to think about it. Dead children? Dead children. What would the world be like? If they're all dead in a little pile. Seems a little extreme. Oh, to you it does. What do you teach? What do you teach, cooking? I'm the music teacher. Oh, oh, music. What do you sit him at the piano and teach him your liberal dreck? Everybody's good. I don't know that. Everyone's the same. Totally out of touch with reality. I like protecting people. How about you? You never protected anyone in your life, did you? Ding, 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 ding. Somebody else will do it. Ding, 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 ding. I provide the security that you enjoy in this place. It's me on that wall. And then you question the matter 
in, that I provided with. You ever see A Few Good Men? Yeah. Watch that again. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Sometimes that's all I want. A little thank you. A little thumbs up when I'm walking down the hall. Perhaps a little information. Crisis averted. Uh, so we can leave now? Nah, I like to give it a half hour, like swimming. So we shouldn't eat. Don't be an idiot. I'm gonna give you my card. Gonna need you to be my eyes and my ears around this place. Roger that. Copy that. Don't be an idiot. 30 minutes. You believe that guy? 30 minutes? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> to share with you a story. About the weekend, my uncle and I had to share a sleeping bag. And I just want to live through this thing because from what I understand, according to Jim, is now available on digital download. And I woke up this morning and I realized I have not had a blowjob since 2002. Let me ask you something. Yeah, that's good. Good instincts. When I run out of shit to say, you jump right in. You're a smart man. <laughs>